Uh, also, a little bit of a tip, and I don't think we talked about I know a lot of shows that we listen to, Chilla, they talk about this a good bit, but uh, did you know Google's been quietly uh, recording your voice, and here's how to listen to and delete it, according to this Quartz article I came across the other day. Um, so when you do the OK Google, yes, I just woke up all your phones. I apologize. Uh, but <laughs> even like on your browser or, or, or something like that, it, you're, you know it's listening for that. You know what's going on there, but it's also recording that and saving it. Now, if I go in here, let's see. If I, I, I want to kind of show you guys uh, exactly what happens here. Uh, you can actually go to, and also, I think this is the, the, the buried the lead here. Did you know there's a history.google.com? What, no, what's there? Uh, is it your history? It's your history. Like, it's all of your history. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really kind of astonishing. Let me see if uh, there's anything, uh, 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 if I'm okay with showing you guys what's on here. Uh, but uh, if you go here, doo -doo -doo, I, I'm logged into my own personal account. Uh, only I can see this data except for all of you on the internet. Hi, internet! Um, but uh, you got nice graphs and analytics on what you do in Google. Uh, searches by day. Uh, of course, Tuesday is one of the big big hits because I'm always searching stuff out for here. Total searches, uh, top top search links, or Twitter, Tumblr, Guardian.com, Reddit, Facebook. How many times I'm going to the Guardian? I, I'm not even sure. Let's got a weird thing. A top Hat Pizza. Wait a minute. Today, Top Hat Pizza. I didn't, I didn't search for Top Hat Pizza. Is my wife in my account? Maybe Top Hat Pizza. Huh. Uh, but uh, you, yeah, you can go in here and, and you see everything that you kind of search for. But if you go into your little hamburger icon in the corner, get out of here, last pass. I don't want to save this. And you go to voice and audio activity, you get bum bum bum. Here, I said open Firefox on my tablet. Uh, I said uh, WWE Night of Champions uh, 2015. And if you hit this, it's actually the recording of you saying it on that device. I said Dean Ambrose over here. I said something else. There was something in here where I think it was this. Like, especially if you look at the ones that are on Tuesdays, uh, there's one in here that's just like I activated it on my computer, and it's completely just like conversation and part of like a Twit podcast that all mesh together, and you can see exactly what that was. If you don't, you know, like here, uh, I, I, I search for uh, Amazon Underground won't download on Nexus Seven because I couldn't figure it out. Um, it's a really interesting, and if you're concerned about this, you can, of course, go in here and delete it by day and get rid of all these um, if you're really, really concerned about that. Uh, but but again, like there's all this stuff in here. There's device information. There's Maybe I shouldn't be showing this anymore. Um, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just in case. I mean, it looks pretty innocuous, but like it's just saying like there's my Nexus 7 device that's really all uh, talking about on here. But uh, you do have that. You can know exactly what uh, in a nice, really kind of presented it in a nice way, exactly what YouTube has on you. It, it's interesting because I don't use that voice search very often, so there's almost nothing in there for me other right, than a here. couple of, you could tell it picked up me saying the keywords to get it to, to, to fire off. Mm -hmm. um, I did hear, and I'm trying to leave Chrome, I did hear that Chrome is dropping support for the okay search what for for yeah so i i heard you're by voice by voice activation they'll still have the button you can tap to to okay. have it start listening that's not so bad but i don't think it's going to be actively listening as it did today I, I also heard they're they're getting rid of the kind of that app grid toolbar um as well, you mean this thing? I found out that very, very few people are using it. You used to put one app up in the menu bar of the of the device, or it would put it down in the toolbar on Windows. Hmm. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're like that. that. It was its own kind of start menu of Google Apps. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I know. There's there's one you could do it on. Uh, you could actually put it in the dock of your Mac too. I was like, I don't know which Mac I had actually done that to. I think it was this one here actually uh, in the studio. So. Um, which is, uh, I, I get why they wanted to do it. Cause like commonality on like, if you have a Chromebook or something like that, mm -hmm. I think it matched up with that. But, uh, I, I don't know the app system on, on, 
a browser I don't think really ever took off aside from having a Chromebook because that's like the mechanism you're used to, right? By the way, right. this fake hair is really itchy. I want to point out. <laughs> so um, so we're just going to roll through that. Um, but no, I, I, again, history.google.com. I think if you go there, log into your account, you might be surprised on what's there or maybe how little is there. I, I thought I would have a lot more for Google searches because I thought I kind of lived in it all, all day and I, I'd, I'd get a bit out of it. 